Hey yo fellas, we're back with part 2 of the Iron Man progression this week. Before we start the video, I want to say thank you very much for the support. It's been absolutely unreal on the streams, and the videos are doing great. So again, thank you guys very much. If you guys want to keep up to date, please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to never miss any future content, comment literally anything as it helps immensely with getting this video out to more people. One more thing, there will be a giveaway going on in my Discord server for anyone interested, and more in the future, so be sure to check the link in the description. Last episode, we ended off the first week, day 7, being a milestone after the start of our new Iron Man profile. Now from here on out, we will be doing highlights, but it won't be week to week each time. It'll just be highlights of key points and any information that I think may spark interest, things that I think are important. I want to make sure this is a regular thing on my channel though, so be sure to show your support in the comments if you want more. And anything else you may like to see as well, drop it down below. So, we're going to start off with Day 8. Starting off Day 8, we now have obtained the Broodmother Drop, we got the Silky Reforge, and we also got the Talisman, which is going to be absolutely amazing because we wouldn't have to worry about coming up here later on in the future, hoping for this thing and wasting more time. It was completely random that someone from my stream ended up in my lobby and said, hey, it's going to happen soon, so I'll let you know. Went up there, and boom, it was there waiting for us, it was perfect. We also later unlocked the Tarantula level 3, which means we were able to push into Sven, which we later then used to unlock the Bat Phone, which was absolutely incredible. We did a lot of mining, we crafted the Emerald Ring and the Slime Hill, then the majority of the stream afterwards was full of more and more mining, skill XP for Mithril Powder and upgrades for the Mithril Minion. We did a lot of mining this stream. Doing this was going to be absolutely incredible to get our mining speed up, to get our mining fortune, so we get more money in the future, we could actually upgrade minions by power mining ourselves. It's going to be really good and helpful in the future to get this done early. Especially if we're ever going to have an event in the future where we can go for mineral, it'll be incredible. On day 9, I pushed through another grind specifically to unlock more minions. Farming, mining, foraging, then crafting unique talismans to eventually unlock myself more slots for the fellas. At this time, we were getting up to slot number 17. Fast forwarding through to day 10, we were on the search through floor 2 for the best starting weapon in dungeons for Mage, which I would say it was the Dreadlord's Sword. I was using the Raider's Axe at this time, and as you cannot star the Axe, it was relatively useless in Catacombs, so I was very, very weak. Unable to help the team other than finding secrets, a couple of Dreadlord mobs later, and we got it. But there's obviously more things I could get. I just don't know what. <gasps> Never mind. Honestly, I really don't know how we picked it up. Since we weren't the ones who killed it. Someone from the actual group did. But that's a GG regardless, so I'll take it. We needed to 5 star this bad boy. As it was going to deal so much more damage right off the bat. Compared to my crappy Raider's Axe I was using previously in that run. After doing this, my DPS dramatically increased, making floor 2 and 3 runs actually smooth in comparison to the previous hour. Ending off the stream, we finally unlocked the recipe for the grappling hook, which was going to be so, so useful. On day 11, this day was all about heavily increasing our effective HP and strength. The waypoints were on, the grapple hook was crafted, ender pearls were at the ready, I told myself that I wanted to wait until I had the grappling hook to start on the search for the fairy souls, and I absolutely waited, I did it, but the main reason is because I wanted to save that huge boost in health for one beautiful moment. One single clip. And after searching for all of these, all 227, minus the fishing and dungeon souls, we finally got to collect all of the rewards from the NPC. I haven't talked to her once, as you guys can see. I have not actually accepted any benefits from this you ready 215 out of 5 all right holding the raiders act we have 606 health 270 defense strength is at 341 speed's 125 crit damage and chance whatever 74 and 251 strength. all right i'm gonna go through 15 10 and last one five now we're up to this we have 1172 hp we have 320 defense, 391 strength. I don't know anything else that would have changed there, but we, we mainly just got health, a little bit of defense, a little bit of strength. Actually, the strength is not bad at all. This short clip shows just how important it is to grind the souls. Even if you haven't done so yet, I hope you do soon, because this was more than doubling the effective health we had and launching our damage up a ton. 
On day 12 of Iron Man, we were focusing heavily on the dungeon grind. We wanted to unlock a couple collections within dungeons, specifically floor 2 to start. I already had Bonzo's Mask, so along with my Dreadlord Sword, I would start to swap my class to Mage, as it felt safer, smoother, more stable as my health and defense were just too low for Berserker. Later in the stream, I was starting to attempt some floor 3 runs, and it was a little bit scuffed. Oh god, dude, that guy's gonna fuck me right up. If I die here, don't be surprised, fellas. Yeah, that's that's happening. Fireball for 8,000. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, okay. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna die for sure. This guy's gonna fuck me right up. That guy's gonna absolutely clap me. Well, that's okay. At least we helped, you know? A little bit, not much. Alright, I'm just gonna spam click. Because if I just keep spam clicking and they walk into it, that's more damage for me. Yep, I'm dead again, dude. I fucking love it, dude. I love it so much. <laughs> Floor 3 is so good, man. Once we made it to the end, we actually achieved an S. But I was also too poor for the chest, so I may have missed out on what had been my first piece of adaptive armor. Which was a bummer, but we knew this would probably happen, since I have yet to actually farm for coins. Then throughout the day, I would actually end up missing out on pretty well the entire set in the chest. Although I can easily grind for two of them for free, since I can get the adaptive leggings at 50 runs, and the adaptive chest plate at 150 runs from the collection anyways. But after I burned through some catacombs, I was grinding zealots to hopefully leech some frags from potential dragon parties. Since I was definitely going to need dragon armor at some point, doing drags myself would only ever be possible if I actually dropped the eyes from special zealots too, so it's a smart idea to start early. Other profile there. Where was all that? Yo, dragon went up. Dude, it sucks that I'm bad at this stuff. Oh, I got four frags, okay. Nah, man, I'm a fucking boomer. We don't do that stuff. Holy, that was quick. Yeah, three strong frags, dude, I'll take it. You've watched me the most out of anyone here. That is actually a fact. I just want to hit this thing, dude. You destroyed Ender Crystal, thank god. I'm better off just doing this, to be honest. Just swapping over to my Raider's Axe. I think. Again, I swap over to my goddamn grappling hook by accident. Oh, round two. Oh, no, I actually just missed. I just randomly said, like, oh, if you guys get a party, I'll come and quickly leech a couple frags. I didn't expect it to turn into doing, like, ten dragons. That is not what I thought was going to happen here. <laughs> At all. I'm not mad about it. I'm happy. Oh, boys, there you go. Hey, GG to you guys. Let's go. Oh, number 19. Only three. That's okay, though. That's three frags. After all these leech dragon parties, I was stoked. Always happy to get a couple of dragon fragments, but a superior? Now that was awesome. I need a lot more, but a couple of these are getting pretty high for the fact that I've only been down there a couple times and only did a couple dungeon runs. We're doing pretty good. On day 13, I continued with dungeons yet again. We would now be way stronger with our new stat buff from the Fairy Soul stream. All was Mayor, and we were going to take advantage of the free bonus score. I had my head set on pushing through as many Floor 2s as needed to obtain the free epic accessory, Scarf's Thesis, which is claimable after just 50 runs. Though most days that I want to do these runs, it is just a bit too much of a challenge to get a party together at all, so I ended up only getting to 35, but this was going to be continued later on as it would be a large damage increase once obtained. Uh, and if you can guess, later on, we went back to grind eyes and hope for dragons, which would turn out to be a very good roll of luck. They're doing another one. It's not going to be protector. There's two in a row so far. If there's three, that has to be a world record. It's going to be superior, I'm calling it. It's going to be superior. Oh my god, I called it. Let's go. So in the future, that's something I'm hoping will happen. But There we go. Holy crap. Yeah, 12th place after that long, long fight. I got three frags. Stream starts. It's day 14. We warp to the hub to grab the Ancestral Spade, as well as the Griffin Pet, which was a major upgrade. This was a very useful pet for the stats it gives. And then we started grinding for mythological creatures and burrows for money, item drops, and upgrades. This was supposed to be the day 14, but I let that slide to the next day because pretty well right when we started, Minikloon decided to put out an update releasing the Enderman Slayer. 
And since we needed to check this out and jump on it, I swapped to my other profile. So for the sake of this video, we can just skip right over to the official day 14 stream, which happened the next morning. Real quick though, I just want to show you guys this clip. Uh, the 8 mil mini clune? What do you mean? The 8 mil mini clune. Hi mini clune? Oh shit, mini's in here. Oh wait, he was in the stream. Oh shit, what's going on buddy? What's happening? What's, what's, what's going on man? What is that? Absolute Ender Pearl. Oh, I got you, buddy. Oh my God, dude, I'm getting attacked. Yo, Mini, hold up. What for a can second. I do here? Why? <laughs> Explain this to me. Yo, that's so sick. Okay, wait, wait. Did he just? No, he left. No. <laughs> right here, where you're watching, Mini Kloon joined the stream and decided to come say hello. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I was really confused, but this was actually sick. So, there you go. That happened. That'll have its own thing. But for right now, let's go to day 14, boys. Okay, so we are back. Diana was mayor, so that means grind time is initiated on the real day 14. We can get ourselves a new talisman and try to upgrade it as much as possible to milk the stats. After digging up burrows of griffin feathers and collecting ancient claws, I was able to craft the first tier common Beastmaster Crest, which we would later upgrade all the way to rare, paired alongside the griffin, which went from common to uncommon. I wanted to get this higher though, the only issue is that it will take a very long time to upgrade as it takes absolutely way too much and I was not prepared for the amount of gold I would need to even just upgrade this to rare, let alone epic, anything higher. We're gonna have to wait on that in the future, but next Diana, I'll be ready for you. Way too expensive for right now. Huh. Uh, yeah, I thought it was gonna be a good idea to start day 15 off with some fishing since the Jerry's workshop came around, but... That didn't last long. Not really something that I can get into, honestly. Until you hit level 24, you have no chance of getting a baby yeti, and that's the only thing I want from there. So why bother until then? Spooky all the way though. XP is through the roof. Now this one, this one sucks. Regardless, I did actually decide to start up some more dungeons and grab myself all of the remaining fairy souls that I was waiting for. That was something that I kept my eye out for every single run until I finally snagged the last piece of the pie, since I will absolutely take that free HP. Alongside the Fairy Souls came many lost adventurers looking to drop their dragon fragments at my feet, so I could work up little by little to the dragon sets. Taking them out can actually be a huge task though, since even though I'm even on floor 2 right now, a low level floor, I am not exactly the highest stat player, so eventually it'll get simpler, but for now, it's a task. Rounding up the last 8 days, I got a lot of stuff done, but I got one of the best early game pets that could even transfer into some of the better mid to late game pets as you upgrade it, but that would be the Griffin. It has incredibly helpful stats for many scenarios, and I'm for sure going to max this thing out. We pushed through the floors of Dungeon to make ourselves a budget set with a great starter weapon as we move forward with the Mage class. I even started to upgrade the pet's rarities with Cat so we can get stronger buffs higher damage, increased pet score, which will absolutely prove to be very helpful if we ever want to focus on RNG drops. There were lots of small tasks and mini victories this week. Well, technically eight days, but it doesn't really matter, right? Because highlights are highlights. Altogether, this grind is still only just getting started. So I will make sure to keep everyone updated on what happens. If you want to catch the streams or keep up to date on videos, announcements, anything like that, be sure to head on over to the Discord link below in the description so you can stay informed and chat with us anytime. We've actually started up giveaways for anyone interested as well, so keep your eyes peeled as they could be posted anytime. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. Love all the support. If you guys missed the previous Iron Man progression episode, click on the video to your right. After you subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment saying anything at all because it helps with the algorithm so, so much. Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video, fellas. Goodbye.